everybody once again to hockey. Here with my hell, Rod Wright. I'm a backup today. You're the backup. No, I'm you're, the backup. The big, you're the big guy. Uh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> Got we're, a good game today. We're playing West Bloomfield. We're the United for what's Oxford, Avondale. They've been together for about four or five years now. Great United team. Yep. But this Bloomfield team should be a, a good game. Uh, we did win our first game against uh, Lapeer last we'll, night. We'll, we'll switch that one. We'll pass that one. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And, well, no, we won last night, the, the game, the first game oh, of the okay, season. Okay. So this is the second game of the season. It's going to be good. We're Sports ready. It's going to be good this year, so That's stay right. tuned. We're going to stay one. And our proud sponsors are coming up right now. Today's game is brought to you by Concho Pearl, Texas Barbecue and Draft House. We're open and smoking. Serving Oxford from Tuesday to Sunday with fresh squeezed margaritas, 24 draft beers, happy hour every day, and awesome weekly specials. Concho Pearl, Texas Barbecue, 955 South Lapeer Road. 248-800-4222. Today's game is sponsored by Vendetti's Pizza and Pasta. Now this is pizza. Vendetti's is having its 50th anniversary. Great friends, great pizza. Call Vendetti's in Oxford, 248-628-1540. Don't forget to ask for a famous spanky right after the game. Are you hearing scratching? Do you smell an odor or notice droppings in your attic? Then you might have bats or a mice colony in your home. My Bat Guy is your number one choice for bat and mice removal. We are licensed, insured, and offer full bat removal with attic restoration, offering humane wildlife removal and prevention with the experience, knowledge, and equipment to eradicate your animal problems fast and effectively. With 24-7 emergency removal services, My Bat Guy is your first choice for bat and mice removals. Visit MyBatGuy.com. Game number two, off and running Off and here. running, that's right. My pal Rod Wright, Bill Service, and here we go, Oxford Community Television. Tell you what, the boys are getting off their first victory last night against Lapeer. Here we are with West Bloomfield. Now the thing is with West Bloomfield and, and United, this is home rank to both teams. But today, this is our home. Yep, this is our home one. But they play here as well. Here we go. Aaron Angelo. Wow. Is tested right off the bat here. There you go. Nice looking breakout pass. That's Kyle Volger. On with Brendan. Good save. Good save. save. We got the Volger brothers. I guess Brendan Volger had a had a good game last night. He had a couple goals. He was plus plus four wow. last night. Yeah, how about that? So Angelo was our goalie today, right? Yep. Aaron Angelo is our goalie. He's our senior. We had three seniors, four juniors, and six sophomores. Got a building team, as you will. It seems like we're forever building. <laughs> yeah, I they know. all keep on yeah, graduating, I for know. Out loud. They do. And uh, Speaking I, of graduating. You never did. I know. <laughs> no. <laughs> I was talking about the high school, the football team, for heaven's sakes. Oh, did they do good? Oxford? Yep. Oh. Uh, one to the one division, the beat to the Clarkson was amazing. Got Lapeer and Lapeer. Here they come. And that puck will be deep in the United zone. We're going to call us United instead of saying Avondale Oxford every time. Oh, yeah, it's, it's United. Quicker. That's us. And that'll be an ice, and then I'll bring it. Yeah, I just want to bring, I bring, it, I want to bring it real quick. Head coach Bud Raleigh named the OAA Red Coach of the Year. Bud Raleigh, and also W W D I V Channel Four selected the Metro De Metro Detroit's favorite coach, Bud Raleigh. Really? Been there for, since before dirt in Oxford. And the puck's coming around. Here we go. There you go. Oh, go. oh, open ice hit. Wow. Ouch. Pratt takes a fall. He bounced. Pretty good. Bounced up. I don't know what it is about them open ice hits, but they are brutal. Sometimes them walls kind of absorb the shock. 
And this puck will go in deep. Aaron Angelo will cover it up. And so here we go, 14.54 here into the first period. No score yet. You're watching OCTV's coverage of boys varsity hockey. Bill, this is the first hockey game you've done in quite a while. Yeah, since last year, I think. When we first started the Did game Did you do one so. last year? One or two, maybe. Zach Rowe. They have to bring it, bring it back oh, about, puck up front. about eight years ago or nine years ago. I was just me and myself going in the camera. I remember. The, well, that's where I met you. That's how I met oh, yeah, this yeah. job. That's for hockey. Yeah, it was just you and a camera. Oh, I had John Ogen and uh, Roger and I did a little announcing for a while. Then I dragged you in. Yeah. And I gladly came. Yep. There you go, Rao getting Fun. it up. Oh. Field with it. So far, so good with the United. United, we're staying with them. Well, I was talking to Coach Billis. He says uh, they should be pretty even up. Both teams are a lot alike. Um, got a mix of young and old players. Right. This is actually our second game that we've covered. We did an exhibition game Whoa. earlier. And Aaron Angelo grabbed this. That one was not even on net, but Aaron says, ah, we'll just hang on to this. <laughs> get a little change from the bench. Get some fresh legs out there. Taking a drop is Pratt. And Ben coming up with it. Look out with the head of steam. Here comes Bluefield. Good, good block. Pratt in the corner. And that'll be a nice. Yep. Good thing about the hockey, we only have come on Saturdays. I think we have one game during the week for the whole schedule. But most of them are Saturdays. Most of them Saturday games? Yeah. And one game on a Sunday. Well, they'll go our weekends. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> That's why you guys have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't mind at all. Oh, no. Absolutely. Well, Cody Wright, uh, he's a big hockey guy, too, when he was in high school. Oh, yeah. And, and of course, going to be offside. Nope. And Mr. Wright, he was a coach too, so he knows this kind of stuff. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Some people may Whoa! say, no, and I'll tell you, Bloomfield will pop this one in. Aaron Angelo on the post. Little redirect, and they are on the board first. Yep. Looks like number eight scored it. Zimmerman? Zinman? Noah Zinman? Noah oh. Zeman. Well, we'll see what the announcers yeah. say. He's another senior. So, Bloomfield up with 12.39 here in the first period. Wow. will be up and over the head of Aaron Angelo. Here's another shot. It'll be lied to the right, working its way down the boards. But it almost looks like they got a power play on the way they are cycling the puck around. Boomfield. Donovan Thompson trying to get it up the boards. And this one will be in. And here they come again. The head of steam. He's got somebody with them. Oh, the shot. Whoa. A little deflection there, but that looked dangerous. Number 16 looking very good for uh, Mr. Sears. Up the boards, and that will head all the way back. That will be a nice 
That'll bring it right on back. I don't know if it's the color of the uniforms or what, but man, Bluefield looks big, don't they? They, they do feel big. They do look big. And fast. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely talented. Woo. And that puck will. Here's a race to the puck. Here we go. <laughs> Brian Bud almost had it. Uh oh, look out. Little toe Good drag. Luck. Oh, and another. Got, caught him right in the chest. He caught I'll him. I'll tell you what, what a move. Woo. That young man put on. Nice looking toe drag. Brought it back. That's number 20. John Paul Avar. Very nice move. Good job, Angelo. <coughs> Staying with that. And that puck will come out of the zone. Goalie will play it. Ice will not be. And oh, here comes Bloomfield attacking. Donovan Thompson will keep it alive back there on defense. Buck loose out front. Rawls got to get rid of it. Bloomfield cycles it back in. It's another shot a little bit wide was deflected. Bloomfield doing a very nice job keeping that puck in the zone, cycling it. There we go. Attempt to center pass, stopped by Pratt. Rowell up the boards, and it's going to cycle right back around. This one will get out, but it'll be a nice, which will bring it all the way back. And wow, Bloomfield's putting it on right they now. They are Bill. right after it. Yeah. And we're right back to where we started from. Yep. Nine fifty-eight left here in the first period. You're watching OCTV's coverage of boys varsity hockey. And look at this cycling it back look out again. Another shot. That nice was from save. number 16. So Mr. Sears again. I can't say his first name. Severe Sears. Which number? Not popping it up. Uh -huh. 16. He looks good. And yeah. we get to it. Yes. Oh, he got it. Good hustle. Oh, puck loose out front. Black, come on. Whoa, quick moves. Yeah, they got some moves. They have some moves there, yep. Pass a little bit behind them, dumping it in. United, and here they come again. Fresh set of legs. Oh, Whoa, missed this puck. It was a good idea. Jake Billis dumping it in deep. Cohen Ayo, hey, number, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, 51. He's there from China, Bill. Which one again? Number 51 from China, and he's just a freshman. Oh, how? 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 Come, coming to America. A freshman. Ayo, yeah. Amazing. Isn't that neat? Halfway around the world to come play hockey with us. <laughs> that's great. I think that's pretty cool. And here comes Bloomfield again. He's out front. Whoa, good block, too. Way to go, Cohen. He's a good sized kid. Yes, he is. Here we go. There's a shot, Aaron Angelo again. Hang on to it. That's it. Way to go. I'll tell Very you good, what. Aaron. 
You know, I wouldn't be surprised if Aaron Angelo would go work for a tire company. He's dealt with so much rubber <laughs> in his in his high school career. There you go. Man, I think that kid has stopped more goals. He, oh, he might have a record. I don't know how many goals he has stopped in his career, but I mean, we've we've always had a they've always had scored a shot a lot at us, and he's yep. done a great job in his uh, three and a half, now th yep. three plus years now of hockey. He's an excellent goalie. Kept us in a lot of great games. I like to see him play some uh, college hockey. I'll tell you, he's good. This puck will be off the side. Look out Look for the backhand. A lot of traffic out front. Man, yeah. get, him, get him over here. Yeah, they are They are hammering us. The well, thing is, Aaron's not going to be able to see the shot with all that traffic in front. There we go, a little deflection puck loose. I think Aaron got a little piece of that. Here we go, popping it up. Come on, guys, we got to get it out of there. Yeah. Come on, Brian. Yep. Is that Buttle? Is that it? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I like him. He's young. He looks good, though. I He's thought he a looked really good. Yeah, yeah. It's a hustle. Well, he's going to get some tough play. Here we go. Here it goes again. Speaking about bottle, here we go. Yeah, that'll right. be deflected, but still, I like it. Yeah, he got a shot at it anyhow. Boy, I picked the darndest game to run the camera. <laughs> you know, usually it's pretty easy, but I'll tell you, Bluefield is quick. Yep. <clears throat> and uh, well, we he are had back and forth. Rod had this idea, he said. <laughs> Well, we're going to try to do two cameras. And yeah. I, so, Dan, I said, I'll take this one up high. Yep. And you get some shots down low, see if we get the kids scoring some goals and some good shots. Yep. Wow. Easier said than done. Yep. Well, I can see Dan. Whoa. Puck out front. Aaron Angelo working overtime again. Still six minutes to go in the first period. Still one to nothing. Bluefield. Not bad. Yeah, not bad. Uh, not I'm, bad. I'm happy. Just my <laughs> poor little Aaron Gen Angelo was just clobbered, like you said. The rubber hitting everywhere. Well, he's used to it. Yeah, he's tough. He is. There we go. That's it. We just can't get a hold of the puck to get it out of the zone right now. There we go. Nice block out front. That was by Pratt. Wow. Up front, let's get to it. We got, and they're going to cycle it right back in. Just can't get it out of there. And another Whoa. stop by Angelo. Tell Zach is getting a little frustrated by the hit there. Look at this over and over. Another shot wow. wide. Other way. You, oh no. <clears throat> Here we go. Watch, guys. Watch. You got to really watch. Oh, puck out front. Oh, I wow. think he got a blocker on that one. Man, they're coming from everywhere. They really are. <clears throat> and let's get it out of the zone, boys. It's not going to be too far deep for. Very fast look out. This is tough. That was easy. Yep, when he was able to come across. Yep, do that cross like that. Yeah, when you come across <coughs> a net like that, it is really hard for a goaltender to follow that. And that one gets through. I'll tell you, Aaron Angelo's seen more rubber than Harvey Firestone right now. Yeah, was that Lance Ference, I think, senior? Yeah. Uh, I you got number 19? <coughs> oh, number, number nine. Yeah, Lance Ference. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah. <clears throat> that was a good looking goal. I, those are tough, I'll tell you. Oh, it really, oh. Anytime absolutely. you get that goalie moving from post to post. 
And that's what you're going to have to do to score on, on Aaron. Well, the, the lightning hits the goalie, wake him up. They're taking a nap over there, nothing to do. Well, you know, that happens quite a bit, you know. Yeah. Whoa. That was off a shoulder and a post there. Here we go. Look out. Oh, boy. <laughs> that was that was an almost point-blank attempt there. Man. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, just lost it. Yeah, Billis had that opportunity. My goodness, Jake Bills had it there for a minute. Now he's uh, got a puck out front. Ready? Ethan Schneider getting that puck up. Here we go. Here's Pratt. Stay with it, Ben. Oh, oh, nice pass out front. Good pass, just missed it. Puck out front, loose. Oh, boy. That <laughs> boy is right. Two and a half to go. Little deflection. Oh, the breakaway. Here we go. There's Pratt again. Grand Pitt, yep. Yep, he's got a little with them. Oh! And everybody's got to have to check up after that one. No, he's not able to get it in. We'll get some shots done now, finally. Wow. Yeah, we're not high enough up for this camera. Huh? To be going. This camera's going fast. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they are back and forth. Yep. And that'll put a stop and play. Bill, what of our sponsors here now with a minute 48 left? Oh, man. Bat removal and prevention. My bat guy. Great, great people. And Vendetti's. When you get hungry, this is the place to go. Low homemade pizza. Vendetti's. And where do we get some hot and spicy? Concho Pearl, Texas. Oh, they got that Texas barbecue. Oh, yep. yeah. That's the old, uh, the old uh, hot big boy. Mexican the old barbecue. big boy building. Yep. Yep. They also got a food truck. It's pretty good, too. Yes, they do. They do catering and all kinds of stuff like that. Check out the Concho Pearl. Kind of sounds like a Pirates of the Caribbean installment, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, here they come. Oh, mm -hmm. backhand. Oh, a little wide. And deep. About working a minute and a change to go for the first period. That's Brendan Volger, number 19, working it. Coming off a good game. And look at this, they're gonna come all the way out. Huh. Just under a minute left. It's kind of unusual to come back that far. Yeah, I think, uh, whoop, 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 careful guys. <laughs> got a stick tangled up. Yep. Yeah. That wasn't really as. Well, we're not, as getting, we're not getting as shots as we have been in the first period. We're kind of catching up a little bit. Give some hits to their guy a little bit. And Aaron will cover this one up. Wow. About 31 seconds left here in the first period. It's been tough. It is. We actually thank goodness for Aaron because it's just 2 nothing right now. All the stuff they've been throwing at us. I'm sure coach will go into the locker room and then, analyze and tell the guys what's what's then, going on here. Then think about it for sure. Yep. As we get on down to about 10 seconds left here in the first period. Here's a shot on goal. 
Rao. There we go at the end of the first period. It's still two to nothing. Bloomfield. And we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with the second period. You right. betcha. We'll be ready. Right after this. from OCTV. We are back we here are. for the second period. Down 2 nothing, Bill. Yep, we're ready to go. Let's see if we can't give this a this game a little change here. I'm going to try to do a little bit better job on this camera before my <laughs> my producer chews me out. Yeah, yeah, he'll do that. He will. He, Dan is. Dan's wife is the. Uh, he's the man. Yeah, he's the editor. He's also running around with a camera. If if you see a camera in your face, it's probably him. It <laughs> probably is true. But he'll have both cameras together. We'll sync both of them, and. He wants to do a nice product, and that's what we like to do. Bloomfield all over us in that first period. At the end of the first period, United starts scooting up a little bit better. Yeah. Hopefully that'll keep it going. Well, you know, you got to pick the level in which you're going to play at, and, and the Lakers have said this is it. They set the tone. And this will be a nice all the way back down to United Zone. Avondale, Oxford have been united for quite a few years now. Yeah, yeah. It's a good thing we wouldn't have a hockey team if it wasn't for this United. We played a team, though, the first game, <clears throat> there were five different schools that were part of their United team. So we just have the two, Oxford, Avondale. Here come the Lakers in the zone again. Cycling the puck very nicely. Puck out front. This one will pop out. You know, we do have a couple, whoa, couple players out today that are pretty important. Donovan Thompson. Was a defenseman and of course JJ Poulton. And there we go. Another one gets in. And that will make it. <laughs> Some pretty tough when you're when your top two defensemen aren't at the game. Yep, that makes it tough. <clears throat> Not to hand out any excuses or take anything away from the Lakers. Lakers are a fine looking team. They cycle the puck very, very nice. How many seniors and juniors do they have on the Lakers, Bill? For us? No, for them. Ah, I'll have to look for you. Yeah. And oh, that'll be one, off sides. Two, three. three seniors. Three se oh, wow. One, They're going to be good three, for a while because five, six, seven, eight juniors. And that's it. Or one sophomore. And one freshman. So pretty much all juniors. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. Wow. Now they look good. Yes, they do. They're going to be good this year, and they're going to probably be good next year, too. Rao. Rao's been playing really physical today. He always plays physical. The type of player he is. Did a good job. That's Pratt down low. What was the score with LaPere last night? They said we won? Yeah, five, five to three. Good for us. Yeah. And that was a shot on goal right there. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> there you go. Wait, got to start somewhere. That's, that's right. where to do it. Look out. Puck out front. 
Pat Skrig right across the crease. Aaron Angelo. And that one will get out. And they're going to wave it. And here come the Lakers. Whoa. Out front. That hit some pads for sure. Another stop by Aaron. Well, after this game, we'll have Thanksgiving. We'll be off. And then, guess what we do? Parade. Basketball. The oh, last two, yeah. last week of the of November, we got two games yep. for the boys. Then we'll cramp up with the uh, girls and the boys all again for December through January and February. Include our hockey. Now that will be good. We're looking forward to the boys' season as well as the girls. But the boys are really going to be geared up this year. Yep. Everybody's a senior. And uh, they're, they're going to look good. Here we go. Another shot coming yes, up. Yes, vulgar. Oh, the hit. Ah. He had a couple the other day, or last night. And that'll be offsides. Yep. That'll just bring it a little bit off. Put that drop just on the other side of the blue line here. <laughs> Got a big, big vocal fan for the Lakers in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That game ahead of this. Pretty good with the little 10-year-olds, wasn't it? What? We saw a good game before this as we were setting up our equipment. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness, yes. Yep. The goalie was incredible. They won. Oh, that one gets just to the side. The, that goalie was, whoops. Rao. Up and out Aaron there. I'll tell you what, defense has been busy today. Oh, ouch. That'll oh. hurt. There's Pratt. Stay with it, Ben. And there's a whistle. And that'll bring it. There's not been any fouls place. so far. No penalties. No, you're right. That's been a pretty, pretty clean game, game so far. Not that it hasn't been physical, it's just been clean. That's right. There you go. I just asked Rao. There you he's go. Been, he's been on the ground and putting others on the ground all, all night. I think he's playing very well, though. Cycling it very nice. Pass behind him. A little tough. That gets all the way down to Aaron. He has to make a stop on that one. Whoa. Oh, that's off Billis. Break it away. Oh, there you go. Jake, Jake Billis, and there's a, a shot. shot. Oh, uh, that's our third shot we've had. <laughs> yep. Yeah, you know, I think that's how it's going to have to be if we're yeah, going to score a while, anything. Yep. It's going to have to be on a breakaway. And the puck gets loose oh, out front, shot. covering up. We're getting up there. Well, 11 26 here left in the second period. We are down 3 0 against the. Lakers of West <laughs> Bloomfield. Yep. We are at the uh, Detroit Skate Club, home of the ice skating. A lot of great ice skaters come out of here, Bill. Uh, Todd Eldridge, uh, Tara Lipinski, mm -hmm. just to name a few. But uh, a lot of people that skate out of here uh, go to the Olympics and the big time. Yes, they do. Yeah. One of the premier places to skate. That's yeah, right here. In the world. 
Isn't that something? Yes. Nice looking moves. Wow. Whoa, look careful there. Yeah, who's that number 16, Bill? He looks good. And Severe Sears. That's that Sears again, yep. yep. Ah. Yeah, those are tough. Yep. Passes between your legs are very tough. What do we got? Oh, we'll go all the way down. Yep. About 10.31 left here in the third. We're down three nothing. Not completely out of it, Bill. Nope. We're getting some shots finally. Yep. Hopefully if uh, we get a break away from maybe a Pratt or a Billis, to, it can happen. That's a pretty good defense for you there. <laughs> That's my man Schneider. He's tough. Look at him go. Break out. I love this kid. I love him. Uh, he is a one tough little guy, I'll tell you, Ethan. Last year, for sure, probably the smallest kid on the team. One of the biggest hearts, too. I'll tell you, he took a lot of tough shots. Here we go. Aaron Angelo. The deflection. Good job. Puck loose out front. Billa says, nope. I got That's it. Still in there. Here comes Jake. Stay with it, buddy. And he gets a shot Good off. Shot. Maybe yep. a second one. Out front. Man, we are going to have a whistle. <laughs> what we got? Uh... uh Oh, we got a hooking. I believe we got Trying a hooking penalty on. number 14. I believe that's what it was. That. Yep, number 14, two minutes for a hooking. So we are on. That's hockey hooking, that is, Bill. Hey, there you got it. Okay, that was Nick <laughs> Long. That's good. Come on, guys. Power play. Got to get to it. We have to gain that zone, boys. Come on. Pratt. He's going up there. He's going to have Billis with him. Let's get to the net. Out front with Bottle. I'm sorry. I'm getting all excited watching the game. I got to keep the camera on it better, Bill. <laughs> this is the first penalty of the game, by the way. There's Pratt. Coming up with it, still has Buttle and got and Billis with them. It's going to take the hit. About a minute of the power play to go. Look out! Oh! Whoa! And Aaron Good Angelo save. saves it again. Good job, Aaron. And now going deep, Aaron will have to play that again, too. Whoa. Missing their passes. And Interesting. take it all the way. Be yeah, and he's just going to kill the, yeah. the final seconds here, and then he's going to yeah. clear it. That was a very good play. Take him up. All the way to the other side to 15 kill seconds. more time. Ah. Wow, oh, another stop by Angelo. Wow. Oh, 
That's Lance Ferentz, the senior. That's a gunner. And that'll, that is the end of the penalty. No damage done by United. Yep. Hopefully it took a little wind out of their sails, perhaps. That's about best we can hope for at this point. Tire them out a little bit, perhaps. No dumping it in deep. He's over the line, so it will not be a ice. Aaron kicking that to the side. Oh, everybody missed it. Yeah, that one comes out. Five and a half minutes to go in the second. Still three to nothing, Bloomfield. Oh, big shot. Another shot. And the net comes off. That'll put the drop. Still deep in Oxford zone, Oxford Avondale. <laughs> Ooh, careful, careful. Pratt down there. Good catch. Good catch by Aaron Angelo again. Let's find out what the uh, what the stats are now. He's got to be way up there on shots on goal saves. Yeah. goes Pratt. Center out front. Oh. Billis keeping it in deep. And what do we got here? Oh, we're going to put the drop down there. And get a little line change. So my bat guy. Your bat, yeah. Yeah, I think he's got a couple trucks, drives around the city, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, they do. I've seen him around. There's the office right by, on, on Pontic Street, right by, behind the Legion. Oh, is that where he's at? My Mario's right next to it. Da -na 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 -na. My there you bat go, guy, Batman. right? There you there go. There you go. <laughs> All right. And clearing it to the side and shooting it back in. Gosh. Look out. Big save. That was a good thing, too. I just saw Aaron trying to clear the guy out in front of his net. That was a good thing, too, because they shortly afterwards there was like a shot on his net. So. And. Homefield goalie will 
Keeper will cover this up. And that'll put the drop deep in Lakers zone. We're watching OCTV's coverage of boys varsity hockey. Avondale Oxford United versus the West Lakers Bluefield. of West Bloomfield. Right? Yep. Pass, there we go, let's move it up, boys. Oh, wow. That's that. Another stop. That's that Lance Ference. Sears again? He, he's yeah. a gunner. Isn't he? Here he comes again. <laughs> I think Good he's catch. got two of the three goals. Yep, he's something. Yeah, he's, he's quite the... And should be offsides. 2.48 left. Both teams, I kind of, and you see them slowing down a little bit. I think both teams getting a little bit tired, Bill. Bluefield? And, and Oxford. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, United. They have been zooming, that's for sure. You know, that's the thing about this United team, and we haven't won a lot of games in a long time. Right, right. And we always seem to be building, but this team has always had this great character of never giving up. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Um, and that's what I love about them is that they, they, could be, they could be losing. I mean, last year they were getting smoked, and I'll tell you what, the heart from these young men. Yep. And another stop by Aaron. Two minutes and change to go. No, really, that as far as characters, Bill, this team has, this hockey team for years has had really, really good character. We haven't seen any anything really bad, have we? No. Nope. And this is a sport that sometimes can generate that unsportsmanlike kind of A little toughness, thing. yes. Yeah, but not so much here. And that's the coaches. Shot. That's tribute to the coaches, how they handle the kids. And moms and dads. Here you go, Pratt. Come on, guys. I want to get one. Let's get one. Less than two. There's Rao again, playing tough. Uh oh. And. Nope, just an offside. It's no uh oh. I think Brooke Cruz, number two, in the junior, I believe that's a young lady. Or a long, long ponytail, one or the other. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we see quite a few ladies that, oh, yeah. that, that played the game. The, the ten, 10 year old game we just watched. A couple little girls in there. Yep. Some real good ones, too. Oh, got it. One. Yeah. Had a minute 19 to go, but they got another score. That'll make it four to nothing with a minute 19 left here in the second period. And we're going to have to do the faceoff right in the center now after a goal. I want to thank Dan Slice, our editor and producer. We'll take the two cameras and three cameras actually on the game. One on the scoreboard, handheld, and the clown up here top me <laughs> trying to stay up with the game and talk at the same time. Right. But anyways, well, hopefully we can get a nice product and get some. Oh, yeah. 
Good pitches of the kids close and something for the coach to see. Whoops, whoops. There we go. Stick with it, guys. Oh, oh but whoa. Not Not a, he can't touch it. He's got to come out. Yep. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. That's unfortunate. 44 seconds to go. And this one will be all the way deep in Lakers zone. That was number that was Mr. Sears again. With the goal. Shotness, Aaron, the blocker. Ah, uh, this is covering. There you it go. Up. There you go. Luckily, we can. And that will be a nice 8.7 seconds. Now we will be back for the third period. <laughs> These boys are going to score five goals and win this game, Bill. Yes. We go Ben Pratt taking the drop. And here we go. That pretty much do it. And that will pretty much do it for this period. Well, there's one goal this period, three in the first period, one just this period. So hopefully next period, no goals. There you go. For them. So. Pretty good penalty free. Only had one problem with Bloomfield Hills had a hook. Yep. But the rest line's been pretty good clean so far. Yep. So let's watch the rest of the third one. What do you think? I think we'll be right back. Let's do it. If you're interested in sponsoring a show for OCTV, please give us a call at 248-628-9658 and we'll air a promotional video for your local business. Yeah, we're up good. Now the Oxford Village will not will have a Christmas parade this year. However, the village is not helping the Chamber of Commerce at all. We have to pay $35 for entity of the village of Oxford be in the parade. I thought the village pay their taxes for that stuff for the village. Now they're not going to pay them to their own parade. Oh that, boy. That's, that's not good. No, no, we're going to lose that parade if pay, not. Pay, pay attention to the village, who's in, who the village people are. You elect them. If you don't like them, throw them out. Good idea to throw out some out right now. A couple of them retired. There's one more in that center right now. You need to get him out completely. <laughs> How's that? Okay, Bill. There you go. I feel better. Not to mention, I know you want to get that off your chest. Yeah. <laughs> um, Oxford has had a Christmas parade for I don't know how many years. Chamber forever. of Commerce. And they have, they, have, they have the money to do it because the village did not help them. Been doing it for years. Yeah, it's it's a standard. You have to have it. Yeah. And uh, well, they say they will can't do it next year. They can't afford to do it. The village not going to support us anymore. Forget it. That's too bad. I'll yeah, tell you. You want you want you want to have your family go in and walk in the parade and the float? Oh yeah, because it's thirty five dollars to do it. What? Yeah, that's. That's awful. You're actually doing a community favor. Yeah, right. When you exactly. I mean, their taxes parade. pay for the village. They pay for the police department. They pay for the fire department. The BDPDW. That pays for all that stuff. Now we have to pay them thirty-five dollars for their own parade. That's awful. And plus, it brings people downtown. And yeah. You know, all right, back to fun. Back yeah. to fun. I'm sorry. No, no, that's fine. Yeah. Now, you're passionate because you love our community. I know. Exactly. And uh, we just want to keep these things going, as well as community access. Everything is national nowadays, you know, and yep. and that's the thing with uh, news and everything. So you know, when do, uh, when, the, do, when do we get to do this local stuff like this? Oh, now now the state of Michigan and the United the United States of government Michigan, I'm mean the world, 
the FAA says they want to take our, our fees coming from Charter and from AT&T. They say they're poor. They're going to cut our money back from our public service stations throughout the country and close it out, give their money because they're helping. Yeah. That's a huge, huge local situation. They're truly really fooling it up. In Michigan, they're the premier people trying to stop it. Well, you know, that was the idea with coming in with cable in the first place is that the communities all would have the local, access to All those own. local stations are they will lose the local events. You have Oxford Leader and OCTV and the ones around the country and the state. They're asking to pull it away. So yeah. what are you going to do with local then? You want to watch the, the stuff for Oxford and Addison Township and get on Channel 74? No. No. Not going to happen. You're going to lose the local stuff. Call the little, call the state people. It's how stupid those, those people, the elected people are and stop them. No, thank you. I, I'm going to fuss it too much. Here we go. No, that's okay. <laughs> that, no, no, that's... That's true. They're trying to take our stations out. And well, that's the, the problem with everything going too national. Right? Too much. Like the people get elected now. I'm smart. They think they can do everything right. Oh, they got, they got, they got a goals here. While I was yeah, running their mouth. Yeah, that's Mr. Sears again. He's yeah. going to put that in. They put Brett Dinges in. Give Aaron a bit of a break. Yep. Five to nothing. Oh, and. Pratt takes a big hit down on the faceoff here. Well, you know, that's the thing is, you know, we can we got a gazillion channels for every uh, national sports and and everything that's national, great things going on around the world, but yep. there's nothing local anymore. You have to have that's local you papers. Have have a, it's, you know, fortunately now we have some people, the people that are watching us, 12,000 or more people every month on YouTube, now about two or 3,000 on Facebook. We're now getting some people supporting us with sponsors. That's important for us. That's the only money we have is for the money from the cable commissions, or 5%, and for any of the sponsors are now helping us a little bit. We really appreciate those help. Yes, like, we do. Like the bat removal and Vendini's and Consul's Pearl and other people coming up as sponsors for this station. It's so important for us. Well, those are the guys that have always supported uh, local programming. All around. It's not the big franchises and, and all that. All the local people. It's exactly the right. local, small, little mom and pop shops. That's exactly right. And that's what keeps communities going. Give them a shot. Oh, boy. And let's see what's going on here. Oh, ho, ho. I'll tell you what. United's got a little bit of something. A little bit more. Good block. Oomph in their step right now. Here we go. Billis with the puck. With the breakout, just missing Schneider on that. Out of the Thompson. Cycling it in. Ooh. If you didn't watch the Oxford Leader this week, by the way, uh, CJ, the editorial has his well, good for a shot here. Ouch. Yep, and there goes another one in. Yep. Anyway, CJ had another editorial about OCTV and how the elected officers on the state in the United States taking our public service stations about. Look at, at the Oxford Leader. If you don't, watch on uh, um, Sherman Publications. Mm -hmm. And watch the Oxford Leader. Look at the editorial. He'll tell you exactly what the problems he's talking about and tell you how it can stop those elected people, stupid people that they're trying to do. Stupid elected people. And this puck's going to come out of his home. Yep. Hey, Oxford United. Avondale, they're, they're starting to pick it up a little bit. Here's another. Yep. Shot a little wide, out front. Tell you, Dinges in there. We know the Dinges for so long. They've had so many kids through through the uh, sports programs and through school here at Oxford anyways. Oh my goodness, yes. Great family. Now they have a son playing goalie right now. He's a youngster. And we just kind of put yeah, him in the soup right now. Yeah, he's a sophomore for us. Yep. Oh. 
play. He learns anything that. Oh, almost. Never get some shots moving now. That's right. Oh, there's oh. a backhand. Oh. Mario Bucci. And that's the first time I said his name today. <laughs> Deep in Lakers zone, someplace we've not been enough that, that's at. That's for sure. This game. 12 and a half to go. Uh-oh. Rao getting back. I'll tell you, rao has been playing good today. He's been very busy. Uh-oh. Shot. Three goaltenders on this team. Yes. That makes it hard. It really does. Usually you want to have two, but three makes it difficult. And when you got an when you got a tender as good as Aaron Angelo, it makes it even harder. I uh, all I can say is he's gonna stick around. He's a senior. We're gonna need you next year. Well maybe the boys can learn from Aaron. I'll tell you, he is just a solid goaltender. You can learn a lot from from that young man. And a good character, too. Yep. yep. Great family. So hang in there. Don't get all upset. We're going to be good next year, too. We you betcha. You back. betcha. And we got a good coach, Billis. Oh, Derek's a good guy. Yeah. There you go. Here comes the big gunner again. Also Dan Pratt, an assistant coach. And David Volker wow. is just at it. And here we go. How about Dinges? Hanging on to it. You could probably see Dan Swice, the cameraman, that top right hand corner. He's getting the close up shots. Here we go. Hang in there. Let's go, guys. That's Boodle again. Boodle's playing well. Thompson. Wow. Sears. Putting that puck out front. Six goals for the Lakers, most of them by Sears and company. Yep. They look really, really good. Like that kid. He hustles. You always gotta love a kid Whoa. that hustles. There we go. Ten minutes to go. Good job. Pat trying to make sure that one got in. Did Rao. There you go. Oh, oh Billis ouch, just that gets hurt. double clobbered there. Wow. That look like a they're gonna be a penalty on this. Jake Bills, yeah. Well, this will just be the second penalty of the game. Both of them by the Lakers. Yep. Two-minute penalty. 
Number 14, Nick Long. He's a senior for the Lakers. I guess he got a... Nick Long, that's a senior, got it. Yeah, I guess Billis got it in the head, so... Anytime... Power play for the United. Look behind you. Look behind you. Raul better hurry. Hey, it's supposed to be our power play. Go the other side, guys. Yeah. Pratt just missed getting that in. Oh, ouch. Not quite, the center pass, nobody there. The shot, little wide. There's Rao. <laughs> Gonna be a quick whistle, 8.08. .08. Here left in the game. It has been all Lakers. Three goals in the first, one in the second period. And two so far here in the third period. I am Rod Wright alongside, what's your name again? Bill Service. Yes, that's the man, yep. <laughs> Dan Slice is the editor and producer of the program. You know, put everything together. It should be up in a couple, three days, four days maybe. Yep. Well, Someday we'll be live, hopefully. If they don't get rid of us, we'll go live, right? <laughs> there you go. Hope everybody have a good Thanksgiving. Whoa! Oh, that was close. That almost. I I want to see him get a goal. Come yeah, on, guys. Yeah. Tell you, good job, Dinge. Right. Good job. I think Zach's going to have a few uh, few bruises at the end of the oh, tonight goodness, when he yeah. takes his equipment off. He's been playing a pretty physical game back there. And playing a lot, too. Two guys being out on the defensive position. Brendan Volger will take the, the drop. And they're going to dump this. Pull them back, good. Seven minutes to go. And gaining the zone here. They have been doing that all day, and this one will be yep. all the way down. it will bring it all the way back. There you go. The United zone. 647 left here in the game. Still looking for our first goal. Again, we want to thank Texas Pearl. Concho Pearl, Texas barbecue, that is. Hot barbecue. Fire, they say. Good place to eat. We got the best restaurants. Oh, yeah. And you know why we got the best restaurants? Because the franchises don't make it up there. There you go. That's yeah. exactly right. Yep. We exactly have a right. lot of mom and pops because they tried that. At Chili's, it didn't make it. They they need a lot more people. Yep. You know, at Venditti's, 
Vendetti's They've been business for 50 years, that family. Started in Ro uh, to uh, Romeo, came here now to Oxford. Daddy was here. World War II vet was doing this, the, the sauce for the pe pizza stuff for years. Oh, yeah. Oh, I tell you what. Pizza sauce for Italians? That oh, is and, and the, that pa the pasta sauce. they have. Oh, my goodness. Yep. And home of the Spanky. They're noted for their Spanky. That's right. I love their pizza. We go there every Friday. And uh, after the I can, game, yep, I feed my whole it. family. One of the most inexpensive places to take your family out to eat yep. in Daddy's. And the best. Check them out. Here they come again. Good catch right in the chest. There you go, Brett. And I'm not just saying that because they told us to. No, no, no. No, Absolutely. I really right. do like them a lot. Ooh. That is one of my favorite. But we do have the best. And this will put the drop way deep into United zone. Lakers have played very well. The guys handle the puck very good. Oh boy, that one just rolled <laughs> behind Mr. Dinges. No, oh, Brett. That's like, what did you put me? You put me in the hornet's nest here. <laughs> you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, here comes Jake. Billis. Time with the try to drag around him on that one. Ethan Schneider trying to get her in deep. He's got to come out of the zone. Oh, uh, just a time. There we go. I like that. Shot on goal. 441 left. And we'll put the drop deep in Lakers' zone. Four minutes and 41 seconds to go. We'd like to get a shot. There we go. Oh, and right in the chest again. There we go. And we're going to take another drop. Let's do it again, boys. Yeah, that's right. Look out, look out, look out. They're storming us again. Oh. Oh. Out front. Oh, oh pass. Oh, the bottle. Out front. Let it go, Ben. Oh, he gets it. Now the heart's definitely there. <coughs> Excuse me. Three and a half. It looks like here the game is again. definitely picking up here. Both teams just pouring it on. Covering them down. Way and to go Brett ditch. will pull. Cover that one up. That will put the drop deep in Lakers, uh, deep in United zone, that is. Volgo will take the drop. There's another Whoa. shot. That one gets by Brett. 
And that'll put it at seven. Yep. Oh. Anyways, don't give up on these guys. We're missing a couple kids, and uh, that yep. makes a big difference. These kids are a little tired right now. Oh. They've been skating backwards all day. Yep. And there goes another one. All right. And that'll make it eight. Anyways, we want to thank everybody for watching. This is going to be it, Bill. This is uh, yeah, we've had eight enough. To They've had enough. It's been a tough game. I'll tell you what. Well, don't give up on them. We're not going to give up on them. Oh, heavens no. No, no, no. They did fine. They sort of came after a little bit in the second period. They started breaking up a little bit better. Our legs got a little tired. Like I said, we a couple of people who were not here tonight. So, uh, right, Bill Service. What do you think, buddy? Well, I think we should come back and we'll watch. We'll, we'll do we'll the next game. These guys. We'll see basketball the next week or so. So yep. we'll see you folks in the next hockey game. Rod will be back. Yep. Cody will be back. And I'll watch you guys at home. There you go. <laughs> Have a good game, folks. Thank you for watching, folks. Good night. Today's game has been brought to you by Concho Pearl Texas Barbecue and Draft House. We're open and smoking. Serving Oxford from Tuesday to Sunday with fresh squeezed margaritas, 24 draft beers, happy hour every day, and awesome weekly specials. Concho Pearl Barbecue, 955 South Lapeer Road, 248-800-4222. Are you hearing scratching? Do you smell an odor or notice droppings in your attic? Then you might have bats or a mice colony in your home. My Bat Guy is your number one choice for bat and mice removal. We are licensed, insured, and offer full bat removal with attic restoration, offering humane wildlife removal and prevention with the experience, knowledge, and equipment to eradicate your animal problems fast and effectively. With 24-7 emergency removal services, My Bat Guy is your first choice for bat and mice removals. Visit MyBatGuy.com. Today's game is sponsored by Vendetti's Pizza and Pasta. Now this is pizza. Vendetti's is having its 50th anniversary. Great friends, great pizza. Call Vendetti's in Oxford, 248-628-1540. Don't forget to ask for a famous Spanky right after the game.